Previously on PN and Friends. And I just got the word from upstairs that we're going to have to let you go. What? 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 This has been my whole life. Now I got to find something new. The stairs a little creepy, but hey, that's commitment. Screw you! I'm done with you. Peeing out. What? This fool just hang up on me. Why would you give me a Hawaiian shirt in winter? You know it's cold outside, right? Because because we're so cool, right? Pian, I'm glad that I gave you that tough love. Oh yeah. Me too. Hey, come down here. Eat my fucking dick, bitch. What's going on with Pian? He's gone crazy. I'm local and he's going to destroy my life. But here, yeah. kill PN! Kill PN? Yeah! PN destroyed your life! Here's the truth. PN is a clone. He's a clone? He's a copy of the original that is me. Kalayuga, dude! What's up, gang? It's your boy, PN. Uh, back at it uh, for another uh, PN and Friends episode intro. How's it going, guys? I do miss you. I know. I sound like a broken record saying that, like, it's been a while, but it has been a while. And uh, I've been just been going through some changes, you know? It's, uh, 2021's been very rough, and uh, I've just been trying to, you know, keep it, keep it simple. Keep it simple. You know, I haven't, I've uh, just been a lot of me time. And, uh, you know, I've, I've even been thinking that maybe, uh, maybe this is the end of PN and friends, you know, cause I haven't been doing these things like I should be, but, uh, but who knows, who knows? I mean, I still get a lot of support. I want to shout out to the Kali Yuga dudes for sending me this, uh, PN t-shirt, which is pretty sweet. My mug on it. And I'm wearing that. And he also sent me like a digital gift. Oh, yeah, see, this is great. Oh, PN's gonna love this. I think it's like a, a Super Yeti. I don't get it. Apparently it's an NFL or something. I don't know. And uh, they said something about like how, hey, you know, this is for me or something. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's like a star where you buy a star for somebody and then they name it after you. I think they brought me a Yeti and they named the Yeti after me. So... It's nice to know that there's a Yeti out there named PN. But, you know, I'm here, I'm back, and uh, I can't wait to go out there. It's the holiday season, and things are looking up. Like I said, Costco's back sampling, and I finally reached out to Frank, and Frank's going to get back to me to tell me how I'll be back in the Costco workfold. So, previously, I was, you know, furloughed from Costco, then officially fired, but then they said... That, like, if sampling comes back, they'll probably bring me back. So I'll probably be working there again, which is great because uh, I've been living on 20 cents a day, my PN's 20 cents a day program, because I'm broke and I haven't had a lot of work. And uh, I did get unemployment, but it was for the final week. And I've been stretching that out for the past three months. Hence the PN's 20 cents a day program. But ready to rock and roll. I'm here for you. And uh, yeah. We're going to go out there and we're going to have a very fun PN and Friends episode. 
See you in a bit. Frank, how's it going, buddy? Hey. Hey, PN, what's up? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I'm glad, uh, you know, finally we've got in touch and I've heard a lot of good things. I heard Costco's back and I don't want to presume, but I heard that like sampling's back and I'm ready for action. So if you need me to, you know, get back on the, the hobby horse and start doing my thing, wow. I'm on it, I'm ready. I'm, I thought you knew this already, buddy, that uh, yeah, everybody's back or almost everybody, but you didn't make the cut. Wait, hmm? what? You said, hmm? I, I, you broke up a little bit. You said, uh, cut some cheese. I said that everybody is back, or rather almost everybody is back. I thought you knew this, but you didn't make the cut. Why? Well, I think you know that corporate upstairs has never been all that happy with the eyebrow piercing. I've been having this eyebrow piercing for the past 20 years. I started out at Costco with this. I, I, they also, fired me now for this? During a pandemic, they didn't? I mean, I, I, all right, I get it. I've been fired, but they didn't bring me back because of that? Well, I think it's that. And then there was also some mention of your attitude. Attitude? I'm like the most earnest, positive guy out there. That was the problem. Attitude. That was the problem. You were too positive. You were too energetic. You unnerved the customers with how positive your energy was. Are you telling me my positivity was toxic? Toxic positivity? Who reported me? Okay. Who reported? Well, you know that I Please. can't disclose to you anybody who reported you. I'm, but let me suggest that when HR said to you they'd work with you on the eyebrow piercing, what that really meant was as long as you took the eyebrow piercing out, you'd be allowed to keep your job. Oh, boy. You know what, Frank? This is why I'm changing my there attitude. Was even, okay. There was even some mention of drug testing. Drug testing? How dare they? Because you know what? Maybe you I should that, you know because what? you were you that what? up. You know what? Maybe I should go to New York One and report these, uh, you know, prejudicial conditions at Costco saying that, like, oh, I can't wear an eyebrow piercing. That doesn't sound woke to me. You know, I'm sure there's a defamation league out there with eyebrows that represent people with eyebrows that would like to take this case. Listen, you're absolutely right. It's 2021 right. on the floor. But, you know, upstairs on the 18th floor with corporate, it's 1987. Uh. Yeah. You're telling me, Frank, I've been counting on this. Like, well, listen, I've been living on, on 20 cents a day. Uh, hang on. Okay. Well, let, let's go back to let's... my 20 cents a day program. All right. Hang on a second, buddy. Let's, let's go back and take it step by step. First of all, I did try and reach you. I tried to call you landline, but you don't have your answering machine anymore and you don't have a cell phone. And I know for a fact, I had a long conversation about all this transpiring with your uncle Groper. Okay, Frank, I, I hate to bring up family trauma up on this, you know, work call, but uh, me and uncle Groper are incommunicado. We're not talking. So I didn't reach, I didn't, I didn't get his messages. Or I, I, we were, we're not talking. Okay. Something happened. He betrayed me. Uh, he tried to use me one last time. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it, it was a, you know what? He's not a good guy. Okay. Right. Not a good guy, well, but not, you know, but not a good guy in a legal way, not in a weird, you know, sexual way, but you get what I'm saying. Not a good guy legally. Well, I'm sorry. Know, to, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm very sorry to hear that. And I think you know that you've always been my favorite. You've always been my number one guy. You were always my go-to guy. You were always my point guard. You don't have a bigger fan out there than me, which is why. And again, I don't want to take credit for something that I shouldn't, but I think back when we spoke before, you hadn't filed for unemployment, and I was the one that tried to explain to you the difference between being laid off, fired, and furloughed, and right. that you should take advantage of unemployment while it was there. How did right. that go for you? Right. Well, I did apply for unemployment. It was a little late, but I did get the final week of uh, unemployment, and that's how that funded my PN's 20 cents a day program where I survive on 20 cents a day. So I've been stretching that 100 or so dollars for the past three months. And uh, now I don't know what to do because- I can tell me you're feeling down. Okay, well- I've got I can, two, I don't know what to do. 
I can tell you're feeling down. So let me let let me share something with you. Okay. Have you ever had a friend date somebody and they broke up and they thought their world was over, but then they were dating somebody six months later that was better, or somebody that had a job uh, and lost that job and thought they wouldn't be able to pay their bills, and then six months later they're in a better job? No, no, but I've watched TV shows and that always happens on TV. So yeah. Well, it happened with Calvin. Calvin's actually become number one on the floor. Oh, good for him. Number one on the floor. He's he is now my go-to guy. As a matter of fact, sometimes I accidentally call him PN. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. That's good. That's good. Calvin's a good kid. You know, he's a good guy, you know. And I'm glad that he's taken my spot and move further along than I did. Good for Well, him. nobody will ever be able to take your spot, PM. But what I'm saying is this. I'm saying that I personally have I'm always been a huge fan of yours. I think you're a oh. very special, talented, unique kid. So I think the idea now is to figure out what's next. Because anytime anything in my life difficult has ever happened, I've always thought to myself, God may be closing a door, but he doesn't close the door without opening a window. So I think now we have to be in the business of finding out what window God is opening for you. Well, it sounds good, Frank. I really appreciate it though. But did you fight for me, Frank? Did you fight for me with the higher ups? Did you go, hey, if the end doesn't come back, we're striking or we're out. How would I I know? How would I know about the eyebrow piercing, the, uh, the complaint about your attitude and the idea that because you were so energetic, they might want to drug test you. How would I be privy to all Which of is those? Which offensive facts? to me, by the way. I'm sorry. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke, you know, stuff. And That's I don't exactly drink exactly what I said to them. You know what I said to them when they said that? You know what I said in the meeting? Come on. PN is high on life. That's yeah. what I said to them. PN yeah. is high on life. Yeah. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. So now... We have to look at your skill set. And let me tell you, I will be happy to help you now that your Costco career is over, find a job somewhere else by writing you a letter of recommendation or anything like that. But now we have to look at where your specific skill set could benefit you, especially during the holidays. You're energetic. You're a smart kid. You got great character. You're always punctual. You're reliable. And I was thinking about it and hear me out. I think you should become, are you ready? An Uber Eats delivery guy. But Frank, I don't know how to ride a car. I never, I don't have a driver's license. And honestly, I don't even know how to ride a bike. Like I never learned how to ride a bike because I was raised by my grandma and my grandmas don't know how to ride a bike. Not, I mean, back then, I don't know about grandmas now, but grandmas back in the old days, they didn't ride bikes. Think it through. Think it through, PN. But here's my point. Here's my point. You never know what's going to happen when God closes that door. So with the Uber Eats thing, first of all, you can do it on foot. Second of all, somebody could teach you how to ride a bike. Think about it. You never learned how to ride a bike, even as a kid. You could come out of losing your Costco job. And one of the things that could end up happening is you learning how to ride a bike. Because if you right. learned how to ride the bike, you could do city bike for the deliveries. It's the holidays. You could wear one of those Santa caps or some of those reindeer antlers, make good tips for a couple of months. Take that time to pull, pull yourself up by your bootstraps as you figure out now that Costco has closed the door, what window God has opened. I don't know. I mean, I got I don't know where to start. I mean, I don't know how to apply apply it for, you know, being a delivery guy at Uber Eats. I mean. Well, I'll say this. It's the same thing. The same thing that uh, my dad used to say to me when something wouldn't go my way. I think we all know this saying. PN, when life gives you lemons, what do you do? You make lemonade. That's right. You make lemonade and it may not be lemonade that you're sampling at Costco, but it may be lemonade that you're delivering with Uber Eats. 
Right. This feels like an Uber Eats ad, but I, I get it. I get it. Oh, boy. That did not work out at all. <sighs> Man. But looks like I have to find a new career. Looks like me and Costco are now kaput. <sighs> well, at least there's only one month left in 2021. And uh, hopefully it'll be done in 2022. It will be better. I hope. I don't know. But I said that during 2020, about 2021. So, uh. By the way, this is random, but someone's been trying to steal my identity. No, they're not trying. They're stealing my identity. Okay. There's this jabroni who set up a website called Investing with PN and Friends, where they're using the PN brand to offer financial advice. Folks. This is a sham, okay? Your boy PN does not have money, you know that, to offer financial advice. And if you're going to take financial advice from me, well, I mean, you know, I get it, but no, don't. Actually, I don't get it because I'm unemployed and I'm broke. The only financial advice I'm offering, guys, is that PN's living off 20 cents a day program. And that's not really financial advice. It's more survival advice. So, but, but anybody who's using my name or moniker to sell you financial advice, I'm saying don't listen to them because they're trying to con you, okay? <sighs> a lot of, lot of, lot of nincompoops out there. But don't worry, guys. I'm back in action. You know, I'm still staying positive. It's a holiday season. David Voice reached out to me recently and looks like he wants to have a talk. So I'm presuming he wants to apologize, which would be great. <sighs> Let's, let's see what happens there. All right. I know, I know. You're saying, PN, stay away, but it's the holiday season. Even though I'm stone cold, PN, there's still a, you know, nice little cherry inside that stone cold heart. All right, PN out. Hey, DV, how's it going, buddy? Um, long time no see. And, uh, I gotta say, I missed you. Invited to greet me with their presence four minutes late. And don't call me DV, I'm David Voice. Only a small one goes by the initials. By the way, is that blood on your forehead? Or check ketchup, maybe? And fucking ketchup! Of course it's blood! You just cursed? What the? Stop asking questions because I called you here to answer one goddamn question. So be quiet. Is it going to involve an apology? Because that's why I'm here, right? You're going to apologize? So I and tell then... you I'm asking a question, and then you ask me a question. That's what you think is the normal fucking reaction. Oh, you boy. Ask me a question. When oh, I... boy. Shut up. Shut up. DV, if you keep on dropping these F-bombs, I might have I to leave. I okay? call me DV. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. David. Are we all calm? Are we all calm? Shut up. And let me ask my damn question, okay? I am shut up. Okay. Don't say you're shutting up. That means you're speaking. Okay, voice. All right. Why are you an asshole? What? Why, why do you answer questions with questions? What? What is the part of you not understanding? Why are you an asshole? Five simple words. Why, what? All right, why did you invite me here to ask me that? I oh, thought we were going to reconcile. I haven't seen you since like earlier this year. Shut up. Shut, shut up. up. I mean, really. There's a bunch of bugs in my head. Termites fighting on my Well, clean up your room, all right? You got a messy apartment. That's why you've got termites in your bed. And they keep saying, why is being an asshole? Why is being an asshole? And it keeps me up. I'm in extreme pain. And for once All right. in your life, and once in your pathetic life, how old All right. you could be 59, you could be useful. You know what, DV? I'm not taking this and anymore, okay? I'm still cold, PN, and I could dish it out just like you could take it, or I could take it and dish it out, too. So, you know what? Screw you, buddy. I don't need that, and I'm out. I'm glad I'll never see you again, okay? Goodbye for good. PN out. Now I want you to speak. Now I want you to speak. Answer me. Answer me now. All 
Are you on the blockchains? Do you have some crypto? Did someone steal your identity and use it to make a bunch of NFTs without your permission? If any of this sounds even remotely familiar, don't hesitate. Call Pontillo and Associates right now and please explain what the hell I just said. Because honestly, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Ain't stolen? Not a problem. I'll get you some real ones because I've got a hookup at the local zoo and those are worth way more money than some stupid drawings. Pontillo and Associates, the premier attorney of the metaverse because I'm the only attorney in the metaverse. No one else is here yet. So call now while supplies last. And while you're at it, please call for help because I have no idea how to get out of here. It should be like a door or something. Kelpian. 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 Looks like the Kelpian Tourette spell is working. <laughs> hey, little DV, get over here. Kelpian. Sit, you little dog. Kelpian. Kelpian. Go on the floor. Don't touch me! How dare you! You're punished! I should kill you, but not yet. Let's contact Kenzie. Don't touch me. Yeah, you know, Rich, I really appreciate you recommending me to uh, the best of your work, man. I guess we better go inside and feast. Can you see Richards? No, oh, man, we gotta get up at the office first. Let me show yeah, you. Yeah, the office. No, man, by the phone over here. The phone? Yeah, we're gonna get the phone calls. Oh, we What's got a newbie? Wait, we got a new? Wait, Wait, your you office know. is outside in a parking lot? Where are you? Next to the water? Find a puddle on the floor. We got Atlantic Avenue right there, the trains right there, just a bike right down, the phone calls. Yeah. It's everywhere, all the locations here. Yeah. You can do everywhere. Okay. Is that phone working? Yeah. It's working, making me money every day. That's right. You be? Huh? Huh? All right. I'm Chris. Uh, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be training you, if what? you're lucky. There's a training session to be a messenger? I thought yeah. you just deliver stuff and then, hi, right, bye. And to be an essential little... worker? To put your life on the line? Yeah, there's training. Oh, boy. <laughs> right? Oh, Dance, we gotta come over. Oh, sorry. Oh, no problem, brother. Okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to hustle. Let's go. Hustle and bustle. Let's go. How you do this? All right. Guys, it's on you. Why would I? Oh boy, here we go again. Because you're an essential oh. worker. Look. Tell you what. I'm gonna put you under my wing. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay. Ready? All right. I guess. Ready to Rich, put your I life thought... on the line for America? Just burn through this for a second. It'll be over quicker than you think. Right. New kid, you ready to make a difference? Uh, I guess. I mean, I, we're just making. You gotta know, because if you don't know, they don't know. Just making deliveries. No, it's more than that. It's being an American. All right, you ready, man? First delivery, exciting, right? Yeah, making a difference. Look, look at this old guy over here, right? Watch him. Watch us make a difference, Dan. Oh, I'm so lonely here during the COVID. I'm so isolated. I'm alone. Nobody sees. Oh, what a sweet hey, little boy. Hey, you lonely American. What a sweet little boy he is. Yeah. There you go. Maybe come come and visit Grandpa sometime and sit on his knee or something. I'll give you a little bounce up and down See on that? Of Grandpa's yeah. knee. Yes. You feel that? You feel how it feels when you actually make a difference? When you put your life on the line for the country? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, what do you, oh, I guess you think you're ready to go do deliveries now. Oh, I just did one. I'm an American too. Fuck that. It's a lot more to that. Yeah, my dad didn't think I was going to amount to anything. Look at me now. People clapping for me. People thinking that I'm making a difference. God bless you. <laughs> you touched the hem of my garment. <laughs> Tell you what, the next time an old man wants you to French kiss him because you brought a delivery to him, you French the hell out of that guy. Oh my God, this motherfucker, you never shut up. Because <laughs> you don't get applause. You're an essential worker. You have to be the hero. 
I know you're afraid. Everybody's afraid at first. No. You're out here, you could die at any minute. I mean, I'm vaccinated, but it's okay. I mean, you don't think you can die? Well, I need a booster, granted, but you know. But I think I'm, I have another week or so of immunity. I think so. You think? Yeah. Oh, oh, I got a booster. Fuck those, fuck that. Look, nuns, priests, doctors, delivery guys. I'm sorry, delivery persons. Yeah, we're all putting our life on the line. New York is gonna bounce back because of people like me and people like you, PN. But you can't walk around with apathy. Because apathy's for assholes. It's kind of cute and quaint knowing that the Lord of Darkness is concerned about infecting low-life humans with the coronavirus. I mean, who knew that Satan still had a little bit of angel in him, huh? Well, it's not that. It's um, render under Caesar what is Caesar's because I'm getting the motherfucking rest, whatever you may think. Right, right, right. Satan does need his rest. He's so old. Anyway, oh, Kenzie's on the waiting room. Let me get back to you in a bit. Yes, don't be as corny. Oh. Kenzie! Ian, how are you? Oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. I'm doing great now seeing my best friend Kenzie, the greatest actress of all time. Hey Kenzie, how's it going? Did you take that acting job I told you about where you had to eat the ham sandwich? That even though you're a vegan, but I told you, hey, screw being a vegan, eat the ham sandwich. Yes, as a lifelong vegan, it was difficult for me to accept the role, but I took your advice. And I accepted the role. I ate the ham sandwich and it's okay because sometimes you need to stretch your boundaries and you really help me grow as an actress. So thank you, Pian. And I'm sure you swallowed all that meat, didn't you? Oh my God, Pian. <laughs> oh my God. It? That was an oral sex reference. I did, I did. Okay, Pian, yep. If that was you, Pian, would have slapped you, but the new Pian is confident. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna slap you. Right, right, right. Well, slap the old Pian because he's a cuck. Anyway. We need to prep you for that role now, right? We got this. All right, PN. Now, this is a big one. We're gonna go upstairs now, all right? You gotta be, be careful. You gotta make sure you work on your core. Right. Show me how you approach stairs. You know, like a... Uh... No, no, you got a core. You wanna get yeah. in it. You yeah. wanna get in okay. it, right? Yeah. Mask up oh, yeah. and stairs. Right, right, okay? right, right, right. All right, let's go in. All right. Be careful. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go first in case there's any trouble. Yeah. Should I follow now or? Clear. Okay. Got a bit of a situation, all right? We have another delivery. Sometimes this happens. The main thing is don't get nervous, keep your head on a swivel, be cool. Oh, I see you're cheating on me with another delivery guy. Yeah, have to do a run. This is my trainee. You remember him? Yeah, my yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah, he introduced us. Okay, Everyone rich. relax, remain uh, calm. We have a bit of a situation here. It's we rich. have two deliveries, but I will walk us through this. This sometimes happens. It's nothing's of the situation, man. Just give I, me my food. Yeah, it's rich. I made my delivery, now make yours, get rid of your food. Get out of here. If it were only that simple, my friend. There are protocols. Protocols? Well, good luck with this one, man. I hope you get all your tips by the other night. Deuces, Herb. Good luck, my brother. Man, sorry you had to see that situation. Yeah. But crisis averted through proper training. Your package, my lady. Finally. Thank you. Well, I was beginning to look forward to the idea of two deliveries in one. Hmm, another teachable moment, my friend. You know she means... Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, you know this, You know what this is. Uh, it means fucking. When you're an essential worker and a patriot, sometimes you have to say, not what can I do for my country, but who can I do for my country? See you, kid. Nope, not you, you. Me? Mm -hmm. Wait. All right, kid, let's go. Wait, but more she teachable moment. But she's just gonna teach me a moment. Come on, kid, you're embarrassing us. <laughs> yeah, but. Where the fuck have you been? 
you been? I'm so sorry, ma'am. You were supposed to be here three fucking days ago. I was training my protege. Three days ago. You were training your protege. Yes, ma'am. Oh, look, it's a fucking TED Talk. We got a little protege on our hands. This happens. Watch okay. me de-escalate You're supposed this. to be three days ago this was supposed to happen. Just give it a package. Yes. Just Here's your yeah, package. Yeah, give me the fucking package. You know what? I'm going to record oh, this. No, 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 no. There's no reason. You need to leave. Okay. This is my apartment. We're leaving. Are you asking for a tip? If you wanted to so graciously give a tip. Oh my god, he's asking me for a fucking tip. You know, tip. it's fine. Can you, can you believe this? It's fine, ma'am. We're, we're fine. I'll give you a tip. Go fuck yourself. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ma'am. Go fuck yourself. No, no, like, go fuck yourself. Go. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. Get the fuck out I'm of here. Of leaving. What am I telling? That's what I told you to do. It's all right, dial Didn't it back. Didn't I say that? See how I de-escalated that whole thing? Uh, are you still fucking here? Oh, are you still in my fucking street? Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here, you fucking asshole! We're going. Uh, oh my god! Oh, there you are. There you are, huh? Little Prince Fortnoy over here, or whatever. Yeah, you know what? I get it. We're not talking to each other, and I'm, I love the peace. But you're my emergency contact, and when Costco reaches out to you. I expect you to reach out to me Yo, to let me know that. Shut up. Stop talking, man. Stop. I mean, you think you can get away with this? Huh? What? You'll never contact me again. And if I ever see you again, I'm going to kill you, man. I'd like to see that. Please. See what I got to deal with? And that guy's my emergency contact. Great. Who is it? Uh, pizza delivery. Just leave it outside, please. Yep. Yeah. All right, sure. Uh, you have the payment? Yeah. Keep the change. Keep the change. Okay. Oh, my back. <sighs> 2021. How's it going? Uh, just, what's going on, man? <laughs> I just want to say sorry about like, what happened with How are you? Mr. Undiagnosed Sociopathological Issues. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, yeah, you're probably on the scale. Uh, what scale? A lot of them. <laughs> Why? What are you doing here, man? I, I wanted to apologize about the Black Laughs thing. I mean, even though I didn't feel comfortable with that, I shouldn't have left abruptly like that, and I want to work with you again. Apologize. I can't ever apologize, man. You could never apologize for being a ruiner. <laughs> Look at me, man. 
the shit on the fucking. You know what? We're done. I tell my done, 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 done. What? Oh my. Oh, man, how's it going? Dixon, Dixon. Dixon, that is my name. I just want to say, it's good seeing you. All right, we just, we just saw each other. What are you talking about? I mean, I haven't seen you since the early this year. I know because I had to sojourn. I had to be by myself. Man, the pandemic's been breaking me down. But I've, I was in an We literally, we just talked about, like, yesterday. I know, no, we did not, but... This is why I'm wearing this whole shirt, because you always bother me about the shirt. Your shirt, are you wearing my shirt? So I'm like, fine, I put the shirt on. Uh, you're always telling me about this damn shirt right. that you gave me. All right, Dixon, me. you're going through a post-traumatic stress disorder, and I get it. You're no getting your emotions are getting there's back no to post-traumatic. you, saying, "Oh, my best friend PN you're is not here." My best friend. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, you, come on, we're, we're best friends. And you know, you're right. I'm not your best friend because I wasn't around for like almost a year. There's nothing to do with that. Because you, you have been around. I've seen you just the other day. You watch the show. I get it. I don't watch. It. I've never watched the show. No, no, not once. But you're on it. But okay, you know, I, I may be on it, but I don't, I don't watch it. Okay, you're being sarcastic. I'm that sorry. Was sarcasm. We were. What is sarcasm about? We hung up the other day. I night. deserve it. I deserve it. You know, you want to make fun of me for not How is that making hanging fun? out with you. What is fun? What What part of that is fun to you? Me okay, fun? I get it, Dixon. I we get it. The other day. I get it. What are you getting? Because you're saying that I wasn't here, and then you're. No, you know. I so did not say you're not here. I'm saying you okay. were here. Now you're being. Yeah. We hanging out the okay, other day. Okay, you're being. I you this this, this, this sarcasm is very. This thick. is not sarcasm. That's okay, now you're. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry about what. What you were. This is what I'm oh, saying. Oh, boy. Right okay, 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 okay. Well, wait, my head wearing shirt. Okay, I get it. Stop being sarcastic and mean. That was nothing sarcastic. Dixon, you're being, being mean, okay? And I you missed you. What I'm going to be sarcastic about is you and that damn mask. You okay. either wear it or right, not wear it. All right, all right, all right. Just right, right, under right, your nose. All right, It's crazy. Right, crazy. Right, I don't right, understand right, what that's about. Oh, a mask under here like this. This is not This is not mask. This is mask. You're in the mouth of the Okay, okay, okay. Which you know, as we discussed the other day. Okay. Whatever. What do you want? Okay. By the way, what is this talking about shirts? What is this? Well, I, I, this was a gift from uh, these people that I do uh, shout outs. You're wearing for. your face. They gave me a gift. These You're guys wearing your face. What are you, Cali- a narcissist? These, what, what is this like? Cali- oh, look Cali- at me! Hey, everybody! I have my. I'm, fa- I'm so famous. I have to have my face on my chest. What is Dixon, this? Dixon, I get it. Okay. Well, you're you're being hurt. Hurt. You're being There's no gets. I'm I, sorry. I have. There is no half. I'm sorry. Gets. I'm not getting you anything. There's no you're making, gets. Yeah, I'm not a narcissist, but you know what? It you was are very. Well, you wear your shirt. Someone so. gave this to me as a gift. The Cali Yuga dudes. <laughs> all right. I've been doing it. some. Pretty narcissist. I've been doing some gigs for them. They gave me this. Like, I guess they're fans of mine. I have fans. You know. Quite frankly, won't remember who you are. Oh, oh, oh. Who's this guy? Oh, here he is. He's the guy with the. the fit, all right, back. I deserve it. All right. That's your ID now. I just want to say. Your back's number on the back. I'm sorry. Okay. Of what? What are you sorry about? For not being there as a friend. You were there. What friend? I, I, All I don't right. know where right. you're there as a friend. What, did All I meet something right. from you? We talked the other day. Right. I don't know I, why you're saying like we, have to, like we haven't met the other day. All right. Can we, I use your did. computer? I just got to check my email. Sure. The computer's over there. As you well know. All right. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I, you want Stop to... with the sorry. What are you sorry about? I don't understand what you're sorry about. Be sorry that you're wearing that shirt. Oh, All sorry. right. I deserve it. I deserve it. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't either. But... So what are, you, what are you showing me? Look what at this. Investing with PN and friends? They you're stole. An, you're an investor now? No! They stole my domain name! Who's they? I don't know! Pablo and Nahia? Narita? No, I don't know what that is. Oh. Huh, so I guess that's the PN. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Maybe you should go into investing. What do you mean? No! What do you mean, no? Yeah. What? How come I don't have 40,000 followers on something? I don't know. Have you met you? Sorry, that was, that was mean. I get it. I haven't been around, Dixon. No, you have been around. Stop it. They're number one on Bing. They're the number one PN and friends on Bing. It's Bing. Like Bing. Who loves the Bing? Who cares about Bing? Bing is like number two. Uh, it's shit. Nobody cares about Bing. Uh, that, that's... Look, what What else? I mean, so what? The, the... Oh, yeah, what about this? What about this, huh? Frogtees.com. Oh, right? Wow. Nice frog tees. And they, they're selling bootleg PN and friends memorabilia. How's your picture on there? You didn't give approval for this? No, they got me in a Hawaiian shirt. I don't wear Hawaiian shirts. This is, you know, blasphemy. Well, you you, you gave me a Hawaiian shirt, but I don't understand why is this, like, I, I, that's weird. Well, if you didn't give approval, then I don't know, you should probably sue somebody. I should. I don't have money to sue, but I should. Well, go to a lawyer and say, hey, someone put my picture. That's not legal. I mean, yeah. the, the, you just walk in with that picture. Go, yeah. hey, what, did uh, you give that approval for that? Because if you get approval for that, then maybe you get approval Well, this is a gift. To me, so which is by the Cali Yuga dudes, which is nice, all right? All right, well, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Well, you don't remember approving this? No, I did not approve that. Well, you know what, supposedly, 
I have an official merch site for the PN and Friends stuff. Okay. But this was not the official that merch site. No, that, that was, was not approved. approved. And yeah. now, you know, honestly, Who honestly, I'm more aware about that now, being a messenger, a foot messenger, uh -huh. about monies, you know? Right, yeah, I, yeah. Where's my money? Where is your money? Where's my money? Where is your money? I don't understand yeah. uh, how that could be. Well, and they're selling this thing, too, so you right. should get a cut of that if your picture's on there. Right, be, right. That doesn't make it. How? No. You did not, you sure, you did not at any point pretty, sign anything or approve it? I don't think so. You don't think no. so? Do you I'll, know so? I'm sure. I'm sh you're sure. You're sure so. All right, you know what, Joe? Your sarcasm's uh, very good. This wasn't confusing. sarcasm. I want to know. Fix you're like, it. You're complaining to me about this image of you up there, and I'm like, well, how did that get there? If you didn't approve of it, there's a problem here. But you, maybe you approved of it. I don't know. You're very strange. You tell me I haven't seen you in a while, and I see you the other day. Then you say, like, there's a picture of you in a shirt, and I you see this thing. Then you show me this thing right here that uh, apparently you didn't approve of. So I don't know what's going on with you. You're very odd. You're very odd these days. Dixon, right? come on. I get it. You haven't seen me in a while. All right. I have seen you in a while. All right. Let's, let's start let me just again. Let me just let me just check my email. Check okay? your email, please. Yes. All right. Get this over. I want to go have my dinner. All right. Stuff my face. Oh, I got an email from Kenzie. Yeah, I can see that. Open it up. I see what she says to say. I, I thought you moved on from this, Roy. I, I, I have, but I don't know why she's contacting me. Yeah, maybe you got her pregnant. <laughs> what? That's just a joke. All right, let's see what she says. Oh, no blow. I mean, well, you're being really mean, Dixon. I'm not being mean. First to sarcasm. It was no, but I was sarcasm. Now to gallows humor. Now to gallows. Gallows humor. humor? Yeah. I'm blind that you could get someone pregnant. Forgive me. That's actually a compliment for you. I mean, listen. I, you know, I, I mean, I don't know why you're talking about my sexual history. Even though your you sexual know. history. I just made a joke that you may have got. Can we read I the email? Yeah, we did not. Let's read the email. Yeah. The email. The email. I mean, we what did not it? hook up. It, it, we yeah, did no not. No kidding. I know. All right. I made the joke. All yeah, right. All right. Yeah. Okay. What does it say? What does it say? P.N. Hey, uh, Austin is amazing. Thank you so much for inspiring me to take the role. Maybe you could help me with my lines and my sides sometime soon. I'm still a little bit nervous about eating the ham sandwich, but I really like this role and I want it, but it also goes against my vegan beliefs. So it's tough, you know? Okay. Anyway. I just wanted to stop in and say hi, and I miss you like crazy, and we need to catch up soon. Okay. Bye. Oh, and she has a quote from Johnny Cash saying, Sometimes I am two people. Johnny is the nice one. Cash causes all the trouble. They fight. What the hell does that even mean? Johnny Cash sounds like an idiot. Listen, I thought you moved past this woman. I think you were cooler than this. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm over her. I, I know, I know, I, Dixon, but 2021's been very tough, and uh, I've been having a lot of feelings. You need to move on, dude. You totally need to move on. You know, she's never going to date you. She's in Austin for pity's sake. Are you going to fly out to Austin? No. No, you're gonna, but... You're going to Zoom meet her. What are you going to, like... She's going to be, what, you're going to... She's going to masturbate on her side. You're going to masturbate on your side? No, this is going to happen. What? Here. I'm just saying. What? Yeah. What did you say? Masturbate. And you're gonna be she's gonna What is excited. going on I'm in New just York saying, City? That's what's okay. not gonna happen. What's going on in New York City? I'm saying that I don't understand why this woman be contacting you all the after all this time. And why is she telling you about the ham sandwiches in Austin? I don't I don't get it. You really you really need to just wrap this up already. Just move on. All move right, on. all right, right. Well you know what? I'm gonna help her out with the sides that she asked, and also the ham sandwich thing, I'll bring it up then. I'm not gonna email her back about that. I'll just tell her like I'll 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 help her out with it, and then when we talk with the sides, I'll bring up that maybe it's not because I don't want to push it, you know. I all right. Well, do what you want, but I don't. I don't get it. I think you should just like whatever. Yo, we got coke. Yo, we got crack. Yo, we got we got drugs. Percocet. Yo, man. Come on, yo, don't go over there. Come on, nah, nah. Oh, man. Oh, come on now. Yeah, that's a good. Oh, another customer lost, man. It's some bullshit, man. I got sales all day. Just hit my line. Mushrooms. Anyone want mushrooms? Crack. Man, nobody want drugs off the street no more. Nigga. No. Ain't nobody buying shit personally. Why? Oh, I'm crying, nigga. I blame, yeah. I blame Rich Homie Kwan for this shit. Not Rich what? Homie Kwan, nigga. Omicron. <laughs> Rich Omicron. Homie Kwan, yeah. Nah, come on, man. Nah. It's the new shit. 
That's the, the thing, like, nigga. They want to cough, but they don't want to get it from okay. us, bro. Oh. Nah, that ain't working. We got Adderall though. That Adderall we got though. Some Vivans? Nah, oh. it ain't working, bro. Yeah, it's because it is, bro. It's that shit right there, right? Yeah. Look, everyone's going in there, and they, they leave us alone here. They like, want that corporate shit. They want right. that official shit. Right. Nigga. That shit got fentanyl, supposedly. Shit on the street got. I thought fent- they want that shit though. Uh, they be dying it. to get it. Man, dying come on, bro. It. Dying with it. Nah. I don't know, bro. I don't know. It ain't the same, no man. They gentrified our block, yo. Yeah. Yeah, we got that, that gentrified ass nigga over there. He's he a gentrified. corporate drug dealer. You yo. See, he come from the, from the hip lab. He a corporate nigga. He a PN. He's a full of what he is. He a PN? What's a PN? This oh, guy That's right a here. Pfizer nigga. A Pfizer nigga? Oh, he that vaccine, nigga. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, nah, nigga. He got, All right. he got, he got vaccinated. Vaccine. We gonna yeah. vaccine that ass. Yeah. Johnson and Johnson, nigga. Two Burn. shot. Pop, pop, <laughs> nigga. Kill, kill, kill him. Oh, oh, kill him. Oh, I'm gonna kill Stay him. Stay in the corporate world. You find this block? Oh, you can't oh, find my block, nigga. They coming in. Hey, guys. Big essential hero, worker. I appreciate your... He say he's gonna kill me? That's not what they say to essential heroes. I kill my family? Oh my goodness. Alright, maybe I'll move maybe they're not nice people. Alright, let me go. Paul! Oh my goodness! How's it going? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm a delivery guy right now and uh I guess you're at 189 Cooper? Yeah, 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 yeah. This nice. is me. Yeah, I, I, is it a condemned building? Uh, yeah, basically. But, you know, look, it's a nice condemned building, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you're always a classy guy even when you're squatting. So I know. That's yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. What can I say? Well, is that my uh, delivery? Because yeah. I, yeah. I really got to go because we're like... Wait, but what, what's going on at Costco? Did they miss me over there? I mean, I heard Calvin's like a like a manager now. And, and you know, Calvin thinks he got exposed to COVID. Oh so it's goodness. like I'm in charge and it's, it's, it's just been crazy there now. The pandemic. So uh, I, I, I'd love to stay and talk, but I, I really got to go. Oh, wait, but Paul, I mean, you know, I mean, oh. if they need an extra guy, you know, even though I'm, you know, a delivery guy and, like, you know... I, they need me, you know. Yeah, uh, look, I, I gotta go, but here, oh, this is for you. Wow, well, because... how'd you get all that money? Uh, you know, look, we're essential workers now, so uh, we, we've just been breaking into tips, but I, I, I really gotta go. Oh, but my goodness. Nice seeing you again. Yeah. We'll talk after the pandemic, maybe. Yeah, Paul, yeah, but well, when's the pandemic gonna end? I mean... The sky is blue, we live another day. Hooray! That's <laughs> cheesy as fuck, I love it. right now and you know just, I'm having a rough day being a delivery man. Oh god. Um, <sighs> it okay. might be because you're not wearing a coat. It's fucking freezing. Well it was warmer outside. earlier and then it got cold. I mean you know I it know. is winter. I mean, it's my fault. It's my bad. I get it. But you know what? It's all good. You know I'm professional. <sighs> Alright so yeah can I just get the payment and then I can skedaddle? Yeah I'm telling you I do it through the app. I've already like been thinking about what the app? stars thing. The one where I watched you walk from the store. I don't have a smartphone. I don't work for an app. No way. You don't have a smartphone. I don't know. Wait, can I see your phone? How are you doing this? I've got a flip phone, okay? I'm old school, Whoa, okay? I'm old school. I could do apps on there. Okay. We don't, I, there's no app on it. Okay, interesting. There's I, no app on it. I, I'll, go, I'll go check. Let mm-hmm. me go see if I can find some cash. Appreciate it, yeah. <sighs> you know, Millennials, you know, it's like you tell them one thing, they have to overcomplicate the next, and then you know, you know, gender normative stuff. I don't know what's going on. Hey, where is she? Jesus no, Christ! Nigga. What? No. Oh, hey, yo, what the fuck is you doing here, bro? Uh, all right, guys, wait. Yo, uh, you've been doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah wait, guys, guys, I'm just, doing? I'm just an essential hero. Essential hero. Delivering. What? You essentially doing what here, nigga? What have you been delivering right. to this crib? I was delivering, you know, like. Drugs? No. Drugs. You deliver drugs, drugs like that? No. That's just an hour. Drugs. I'm, not a, I'm not a drug dealer. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. You're no. a corporate drug dealer. We saw you come out the fucking store, right nigga. Right there, the hemp truck. 
Since hemp is weed, nigga. Yes. Weed. Marijuana. Weed. Marijuana. Cannabis. cannabis. What the fuck? Wait, what are you I'm, doing? Wait, I was selling drugs all this time? Oh, this time. So now yeah, you don't know now what you're selling this whole time, right? No, no. I didn't know that! So you a delivery boy and right. you don't know what you deliver? You tell I didn't me? want to do that! Are you telling me? I didn't mean to do that! Or am I this telling you? We do. You're telling me! This is my block! You I, think I don't know a drug dealer? I, do I look like What's a drug dealer? What's in the pocket? I don't know a drug dealer? Why is an ass nigga? What yeah, you doing with Tom I got, I got tipped in bills from this nigga selling lap dances, nigga! You don't sell lap dances on my block! What is you doing? Oh, no, 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 Time out, time out. You, what else you been doing here? I mean, what is this? I, wait, wait a second, guys. God, kill him! Sorry, it took forever. Nobody has cash. Um, Finders keepers. Hey, Kenzie, how's it going? Uh, nice to... Are you... Ian, uh, you have destroyed my life with the advice you gave me. Wait, was I too late to tell you not to eat the ham sandwich? Because I was going to tell you not to. Never contact me again, or I will end you. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. For some reason, everyone hates me. Everyone laughs at me. I'm basically a joke to everybody. And no one loves me. No one loves me. I can't even get a job. The job I have? A delivery boy for corporate drug dealers. All to do this show, PN and friends, that no one watches. Are there really friends out there for PN? Then why am I doing this? I'm done. I'm done. Satan, who has done a lot of mischief in my life for some reason, requested me to make a delivery to him for his unholiday party, a food delivery. I said, heck no, I don't want to deal with you anymore. But he said he'll double my tip. So this will be the last delivery I'll ever do. And this will be the last PN and friends you'll ever watch because I'm done, okay? I'm through with this. I'm not gonna be anybody's punchline anymore, okay? PN will be out. Can you teach me about these Black Panther cards? Like, no, uh, you're too stupid to learn. Come on, can I eat this one at least? Ah, uh, I can tell you what to do with it. Still open the door! Like what? You, you have You're doing it 17 minutes late! Get out of here! And you don't have a doorknob! Hey! Wait, can you just take this so no, I can go? Come in here! Satan has summoned you! I don't... I don't like being summoned by Satan. We're here now. Alright. Alright. Here's your donuts. Uh, yeah, and how good to see you. Uh, care for some wine? No. You could sit down. We could play some magic. Oh, no. Nope. And we got the black tractor card. I don't care. Here's your donuts. Here's your receipts. And I'd like to get my uh, the monies for this for Dougie Donuts and my tip so I can skedaddle. Oh, very so well. let's go. Wait, where did you? Did yeah, you... yep. You literally just got a tip from Satan's ass. But yo, tell me about this shirt, man. This is cool. Is this a PNNO t shirt? What are, you what are you talking about? Are we twins, bro? Are we twins? Like, I've even been investing with this guy online. He said invest with PN. And I was like, yeah, I'll give you Why would you invest with someone that's saying they're me? Because it's all you. It's not me. 
Yeah, so you're telling you tell me that the, the conceptual visionary artist Leon Harmon didn't design this with you and his inspirations? Wait, what am I looking at? This is an NFT, bro. A non-fungible token being sold on the internet right Wait, now. Wait, what? Yeah. Why is there two me's? Yeah, that is. Why is there two me's? PN, that is you butt fucking yourself in the ass. I tried to tell you. What? Yeah, but the cat though. Look at how the cat's like watching. Oh, all right, who, who, who made this? Who, who, who? What's going on? What's yeah, going on? Did you? What's not, going on? Did you? Not, what's going on? You, Answer me now. Did, all right, buddy. Put up your dicks. Okay, wait, I'm not a violent man. But I will. Did you not start this whole TN NFT project? No! I will fight you over the name of truth and honesty and love, but <laughs> I thought this was your whole. You didn't create No! This? How'd you get the shirt? Because the Kelly Yuga dude said that. You don't. Don't they work for you, bro? Like Bad Boy Elvis Shiva? No! They. They hired me for their. They hired you? They told us that they worked for you. That's how I got the shirt. They hand. They hand deliver your shirts to people all over the city. Okay. All right, enough of this brouhaha. What's going on, okay? I need answers because I'm not liking what's so going on. So my three thousand dollars, PN. Like, where did that go? Invest with PN and friends on Instagram. That's not Satan. You. What's going on? Do you really want? To yeah, know? yeah. I told you, you haven't been yourself lately. This is the end of PN and the beginning of Shiva. I'm you and you're me. I'm the ugliness that you are. The whole society's falling down and all the plagues and all that stuff. I'm just an emanation of that. All the birds are flying, ready. The crows are ready, the vultures are ready to eat the flesh of the world. I'm here fix things. But first, we have to kill PN, because that's a fake clone. And then bring me out. Because I'm me, and I'm you. I'm me, and I'm you. I'm me, and I'm you. Gold. 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 I'm me. And I'm you. I'm me. And I'm you. Whole society's falling apart. You need me. Don't you? And I'm back. This is the end of PN. And the beginning of Shiva. But before I fix everything, we have to kill that clone. Because that's an illusion. Because I'm me. And I'm you. And you need to fulfill yourself. Right? You need to fulfill your destiny, the Kali Yuga Age, is here, and it needs to be destroyed, and I'm here for you, I'm Shiva, I'm me, and I'm you, don't you forget that, this is the end of PN, and the beginning of Shiva, I'm me, and I'm you, don't you forget that, I'm me, and I'm you, I'm me, and I'm you! I'm a chosen one! Kill PN. Kill PN. I'm me! And I'm you! Kill PN. I'm me! And I'm you! This is the end of PN. And the beginning of Shiva! Kill PN. Kill PN! Kill PN. I'm me, and I'm you. Kill PN. Are you ready? 
I don't know if you are. Are you ready? Join the Caliuga dudes. Join Caliuga dude. Caliuga dude. Shiva! Shiva! I'm me, and I'm you! Judge him, right, Satan? Oh, he's being judged. What? I thought he wanted people to see this. This is why he put it on the internet.